What's good, y'all? Welcome back to CEO Prince Reaction. So, look, I asked y'all in the last video to give me a name for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Still ain't getting no comments on what name y'all want to have. But it is what it is. I'll figure it out sooner or later. But for now, you know what I'm saying? Um, we just going to keep it real simple. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had somebody request for me to react to I Went Home Today by Kid Nicole. Basically, she went to her old crib where it all started. So, we about to do a reaction to that. So, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like and make sure you leave a comment on what video you want me to react to. All right, let's get right into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so say they used to trick you when you used to pick me up. <laughs> Look, look, you're going to that Yeah, y'all, this the driveway. I used to pick me up and take me over there. <laughs> so, y'all, this how you come through to my house. What, what the hell? Bro, imagine you picking up a chick, you got to go through this at night. Hell no. All right, all right. Hey, you got to come to the front. In my old house. Walk your ass to the front. Walk your ass to the front, mama. Hell no. It used to be so scary walking through these woods. Hell yeah, nigga. Catching the bus early. I'm scared right now for you. Yeah, that shit was really <coughs> scary. But then, hell, we got used to it. <gasps> the trailer gone? Yup. Oh. Oh, y'all, the trailer is gone. I didn't get to really show y'all. But the trailer used to be right there. And we used to play in this grass. And this is... Uh, where we used to stay before we got the trailer. So this is my old house. That shit is done. Oh. They done fucked it up out here, but you know, even though it was always fucked up, they done fucked it up. Fucked it up. So yeah, but it was fun playing out there in that grass, y'all. I had hella fun. I was doing all type of shit. I used to come outside with um my shorts on, no shoes. Um, I hated those stairs because I couldn't really. It's scary walking up them stairs. So this is. I be scared of walking that grass. Like. And it looked like this when we was living here too. Well, the grass went up this bed. Oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta be careful, y'all. There might be snakes and shit. Uh, yeah. Damn, look at all these bugs. Damn. Ready for me? Yeah. That's why sometimes, bro, like, you have to be grateful for what you have right now. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Like, you have to be grateful because there's somebody going through things that's worse than you. I don't think I ever lived in condition this bad like my mom probably had to move certain places but we never had to live on a condition like this that's crazy um i'm good babe. i got it i can walk up no way before it gets me your boss no this way <laughs> no, and those, these bricks are always like this too anybody here all right make sure there ain't no crackheads over here so yeah y'all this was the kitchen it looked bad now but this was our small ass kitchen. Um, it used to be a different color, but yeah. Um, let me show y'all. This was the living room. That you went viral in. And we would use the back door a lot. And then we started to use the front door. Um, this was the bathroom. That shit is small as hell. They started work well not working on it but they was about to do so i ain't even gonna go in there this was my mama room this was you know we was always in here bothering my mom her room was decent or whatever before it got like this and let me show y'all where my room was this is where kayla nicole made her infamous videos do y'all recognize this pink wall yes so let me turn my oh ah! Let me be careful. Shit, let me turn my flash on. And this was my brother's room. 
Hell, somebody do be in here. Yeah. <laughs> got this bed right here. Well, to whoever live in this house now, God bless you. <laughs> I'm gonna get out their space before they pop up. Look at these damn clothes. Yeah, Who the fuck stay here? <laughs> Let me get out that Somebody shit. Somebody moving. Let me get out that shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, Somebody done I, moved just, in. I just kept having a feeling. I just wanted to come back home. Um, you gotta be just grateful. Just to see like the memories of this place. Cause I came far. I came very far. Yeah. And it just, it was hell growing up like this. And um, the fact that I changed my life like this in two years. I should be very fucking proud of myself because I don't appreciate myself enough. But I just want y'all to know you can't, you, you. See, you know what? Or requested this video. I love you because, like, this is like, I ain't gonna lie. Lately, I've been going through a lot myself. You feel what I'm saying? And this right here, bro, like, really motivated me because I know, like, in two years of me continuously doing reactions and continuously, like, you know, engaging with y'all. I know y'all gonna support me. I really know like a couple of y'all gonna really support. And then you can just see a whole lot more support just come and start flooding in and I'll be able to live good too. So this is kind of motivating like for real, for real. Like even though I'm not living bad like this, I still have to be grateful for what I have. I'm grateful, but I know how far I can go. And I can see that like, this is a very touching story right now. You can't choose the life your parents give you, but you can make yours whatever you want it to be. And being poor, don't allow nobody to make you feel no type of way for being poor. Um, to this day, I still, you know, I still get judged because y'all see how I dress. I don't, I don't look like a millionaire or a rich ass, you know, person who does what I do. And it, it give me problems today too. And it kind of, it hits hard because it hurts. It's just like, yeah. damn, all my life I've been getting belittled and just judged because I was poor for. and all this other shit. But if you're going through the same type of thing, don't let nobody make you feel bad about it. Um, your life could change tomorrow. Literally, look at me. And all the people who used to, I'm talking about bully me, even teachers belittling the fuck out of me, making me feel like shit. Now look at me. I came from this and nobody knows. Nobody who even went to school with me. No, don't make me cry, man. Not, hey, man. Ah, oh, man. See, y'all See y'all think y'all slip. Bro. I'm about to cry, man. I feel it. I feel you. I feel you. I need to talk about it. That's why I'm going to post this video, but it's just like people try to make me feel so bad. And look, Look what I came from. Look what I've done for myself. I'm just real proud. Oh man, y'all make me cry. It's nothing wrong now. with standing in the trailer. It's nothing wrong with being poor. Cause you don't know what your life could be. If you, I can't even say what I really. Nah, want to say, say it, baby. Say it. Say it. Who are you preaching, boy? They need to be in Sunday class, boy. Because people try to put me down a lot. Mm -hmm. They try to make me feel like shit. Now I look at you, look, rich in the motherfucker. I was abused. I had to go through a lot <laughs> and look at what I made my life at the age of just, I've been doing this internet stuff since I was 13. And when I turned 17, that's when I started making my first good money on YouTube. I got my little $2,000 checks, then it went to 4,000, then I hit 7,000 and I was in school. Um, and I was just telling people, I was like, you know, I, like just all that fight and stuff and just, it was hell. We gonna have to save it for another video, but it was just a lot that I had to deal with coming from a place of nowhere. And the whole time, people tried to always paint me out to be so aggressive and such a fighter, not knowing what I was fighting at home. So to any girl like me that's uh -huh. out there, this is who I do it for, people like me and you. And this is why I don't give up. This is why I don't give a fuck. Nobody can ever break me. The internet cannot break me because I built me. And I do this for my fans. Even when I was, even back in the day, um, when my channel was small, like just the love I used to get. Y'all were the only thing that kept me happy. When I would look at the reactions and the positivity that I gave other people, that shit made me hang on while I was fighting my depression and suicide and dealing with so much stuff. My fans Damn, up, dog. and that's why I would never ever give up, and that's why 
why I go so hard for my fan base because they went hard for me. I literally went from that, like I was just here. My life just stopped being like this. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 30 years ahead of myself. So I just want to thank God. And um, anybody coming from the country, anybody poor, anybody that's struggling right now, it ain't the end. Get your finger out of the way, baby. It's not the end of the world. And I was just like you. I was just one of those little girls who was having a hard time with their mamas. And you know, now we on our road to recovery, but it's a part of the story. So I can't leave that out, you know? And I really have, I got a bigger message for, especially dark skinned girls like myself. And a lot of people don't talk about how in black culture, that mother and daughter relationship. Are um, important. I, I, I know firsthand, I know how it is. And I just had to, I had to deal with being ridiculed and being the bad guy before things got better. And you gonna hate it. It feel like hell. I still have to be like that in a way because the certain shit I have to deal with in real life, you know what I'm saying? Problems don't go away just because you get successful and you get rich. But just know you are not a bad person because you're poor. And you not less than because you're poor. poor. Yeah. You are not, people will try to make you just feel like shit just because you don't have shit. And then you come up on their ass and you do shit like this. And this is, I do it for people like you. I'm, I'm gonna get real mad. I do it for people like us, nigga. I was just in this fucking grass making the best of this shit. Coming outside, my brother, I all outside, no shoes. And the people that's gonna see this video, yeah, this how I was living whole time, whole time. Y'all ain't know that. Y'all ain't even know that. Now look at multiple properties, no mortgage. Fuck, fuck your nigga me. <laughs> hey, talk, hey, talk your shit, hey. Talk your shit, man. I'm so proud of you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you motivated me, and I'm way older than you. You feel what I'm saying? I think I'm like 10 years older than you. Way older than you, you feel what I'm saying? You don't motivate me, so... It was a great video, y'all. Like, this was a very great video. But, um, let's get to the next video, though, man. Love you, Kate and Nicole. Hopefully, one day I get to meet you and you get to, I get to hear your story firsthand so we can share some tales together. But other than that, man, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like and make sure you leave a comment on what videos you want me to react to.